So to approach the situation, right? I must stay and engage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We do it. Fast, fast, sweet, sweet, chop, chop. Later we go drink. Steady. 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 Alright guys, tell me one trait you like about the person on your left. So mine is Joseph, ah? Huh? Wow! Take a thing, eh? It will be difficult, lah. <laughs> As in, for you, Too to, many. Oh, for you to tell the person. Basket! Okay, okay, let's okay, start okay, the ball rolling. Yes. Okay. okay, one trait I like about KP is he's very empathetic. He's one of his many good traits. Mm. He's uh, a very empathetic person. Trait. And he's a good trait to have, lah. I'm so empathetic. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. <laughs> Joseph definitely not. <laughs> hey, but I'm good at like you know, making things fun also uh, like you know, make things yeah, not as serious. Yeah, you're, you're one good trait. <laughs> <laughs> okay lah, but something you tell on there right is I feel that he is a very positive person. Mm. I feel that uh, he he feels very bright. Around Just him. because he wear yellow, no, he say that. Ah, no, no, this is a metaphor of his life. Mm. Bright on the outside, dark Ugly inside. On the inside. <laughs> Okay, so one word for me to describe Dorian right is courageous. I feel that she's a very brave woman. Wow. Yeah. Like when every time like you know she was put in the spotlight, right, she always deliver. Wow. Yeah. Means so much. For me I would describe Shavi as uh, impactful. Mm. I feel mm. that uh wherever he goes, right, he's always impacting people's life. Or mm. like Giving golden nuggets or like giving advice or just very wise lah. It's a, mm. it's a very mm. wise person that and that kind of influence everyone around him. That's what she said about Lee Kuan Yew, no? Oh, oh yes. yes! Yeah, that's what she said about Lee Kuan Yew. Okay, change. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the reason why I brought this up, right, is because, you know, recently we went for an anagram course. Yes. Yeah, and the, in, in that course, right, we actually learned a lot about ourselves and also each other, lah, correct? Mm-hmm. Lah? So, uh, what is anagram, right, if you guys are not too sure, uh, there are nine types of people in the world, and these nine types, right, they each uh, see the world in a certain way. Mm-hmm. So, they also have a different set of traits. So, you know, uh, when we know our types, right, we would be able to know our strengths and weaknesses. Mm-hmm. And we also know how to interact with different types. So you all know about your anagram types already, right? Yes. Can you all share a little bit more about your anagram type? How is it like? Okay, who wants to go first? You all go first. I'll go first. I'll go first. I'll go first. <laughs> okay, so like what Doreen has shared, right? Uh, different types have different perspective of the world. So I'm a type 9. Okay, I'm a peacemaker. So a type 9 world perspective of the world, right, is everything will be fine if you will just chill, be nice, and give way. Yeah, so, and I agree to that lah. Mm. And, do I share about my weaknesses and strength lah? Yeah. Okay, so, as a type 9 right, okay, a type 9 strength is, they are very accepting to anything goes, okay? And they are humble and warm, and they are very easy going also, yeah. But and that can lead to uh, other things also lah, such as my uh, type 9 weaknesses. Type 9 weaknesses are... Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because type 9 are very accepting, right, and like anything goes, right, they sometimes can be overly accommodating. They mm. think. Mm. Like a pushover like that. La. Yes, yes, a pushover. <laughs> sometimes only. La, huh? <laughs> and they can belittle oneself also. Mm-hmm. And also they can be very indecisive. Mm-hmm. Because our motivation to do things, right, is to avoid conflict. So mm. when you want to appease the situation, you want to make this guy happy, you want to make this, this guy happy, right, Sometimes you just, you can't decide what is the right move to make. Mm. Yeah, and I resonate with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's good. Mm-hmm. So for Joseph, what's your type? I'm a type 7. Mm-hmm. Type 7 is enthusiast. So the worldview of a type 7 right, is they see the world full of possibilities and excitement. So their mission right, is to explore them all. Mm. Yeah, so my strength and weaknesses are uh, <laughs> weakness. <laughs> <laughs> One whole list. 
please. Go there, man. Type <laughs> seven, there, but you don't have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for the strength of type seven, right, is they are very optimistic. They mm-hmm. see the life as a very bright and beautiful place. They are also very adventurous mm-hmm. and fun to be around, and so they are very humorous. I think it's all described yeah. me lah, correctly. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Humorous, no way. Okay, now, for the real part about Type 7, <laughs> the weaknesses. <laughs> ah. So for Type 7, right, the motive in life right, is to avoid pain. So that's why they chase fun all the time. Yeah, so they chase high all the time, right? So sometimes they be, might be a bit insensitive towards others. Yes. They might be overstimulated. You know, like every time you just uh, go drink, go party, all this, right? Sometimes you might not, you might not know when's your downtime. Because mm. you are always high all the time. And also... Um, irresponsible. <laughs> yeah, 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 irresponsible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shallow. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, shallow no, is no. really, really. Shallow is really one of it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, but they want to have a, a, a bit of everything, and then they don't I, dive deep. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, correct. See, never learn enough. Yeah. Ah, okay. What were Hello. Doing? What were you doing during the class? I was just having fun. All right. Okay, so for mine, okay, I am type eight, the challenger. So my worldview is this: I'm strong and I'm in charge. I avenge the weak, I stand for justice, and uh, I expose the pretenders, I expose the power abusers. Mm. So that's my that's my type. Mm. For the good traits, right? I'm confident, I'm charismatic, I'm strong willed, I am decisive and a powerful person. Well, we say so many strengths. <laughs> Everyone's key. <laughs> Okay, never mind. I, I say quite a bit of strengths, right? Mm. I will say even more weaknesses. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. I see I have type 7 wing 8, ah. So that <laughs> strength is also my strength, ah. No, no. <laughs> no, no you're a very confident guy. Powerful guy. You're a <laughs> <your, your laughs> small, small one. <laughs> Okay, so for the weaknesses, there are a lot also. Firstly, you can be a bit domineering. You can be aggressive, you can be egocentric, you can be uh, spiteful, you can be dismissive, you can be unsympathetic. So these are all traits that type 8 can have also. Mm. So for myself, right, uh, I'm a type 3, the achiever. So my worldview, right, is the world is a contest and I can win if I work hard and appear successful. So this is my worldview. So uh, there are some of the strengths that uh, a type 3 have is uh, we are very driven, mm-hmm. we are very resourceful, we are very effective, uh, we have that kind of mentality that just do it. Mm. Yeah. So, um, and I can resonate a lot like, with that. And also, but uh, for the negative traits, right, we are actually a workaholic because we, we always, you know... Um, just go and go and go and go and go. Yes, correct. Just go and go no and balance, go. No balance. Uh. Yeah, and mm. we like to... Um, work is our pride. La. Yeah, mm. so whenever we achieve something, this is what fits our... Appetite. Yeah, correct. Then, um, also, we are very vain for type 3. Mm. Yeah. Yes. I, I... yes. <laughs> The number of selfie uh, or like a photo that Shami had to take for her uh, shows it all. Go to my IG. <laughs> yeah, so um, also uh, face value is something that uh, type 3 is our downfall because for us, right, if you want to kind of like give feedback, it's better to do it behind the closed door or like uh, be a bit more tactful. Uh. So face value is very important for type 3. Mm-hmm. You guys have shared about your anagram types, right? Can you give an example of a person of your type? For me, so I'm a type 9, right? Okay, so one person that we all know is Obama. Mm-hmm. So it was it said that Obama is also a type 9. Okay, and one way, right, that it's easy to identify a type 9, right, is by what they say. So normally, mm-hmm. they will just, anything goes, oh. Mm-hmm. And we ask them, hey, this one or this one can or not? Anything, oh. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, where you, where you want to eat, what you like, or, you know, stuff like that. And you also can find them saying, like, just chill, lah. It's, it's going to be fine. Mm. Yeah, so I also find myself saying yes. that a lot. Mm. And yeah, the anything is the cause of my size. <laughs> <laughs> Serious! You know, really, eh? Right? Yeah, you know, really everything. Back, yeah, why is anything and everything? <laughs> like, when I really eat back, right? Because a lot of times where I don't want to, like, I just get it over and done with, right? If you, what you want to eat? Anything. Then when we want to eat, I just, I can eat. Then I'm okay with, like, all the taste 
Mm. You know? So yeah. fat people la, type, type 9. nine. <laughs> 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 How about you guys? Okay, for me, right, an example of a type 8 is Lee Kuan Yew. Mm. Mm. Lee Kuan Yew is a yeah. type 8. So typically, how you can tell a person is type 8, they are strong leaders. They are fierce leaders. Mm. So if let's say their people are uh, under attack, there's a threat, they will step up, they will eliminate that threat. Mm. Mm. They are also very calm under pressure. Mm. So if let's say, you know, there's chaos, right? And you see that one guy is being calm and he's telling people, okay, do this, okay, do that. Probably that guy is a type 8. Mm. Mm. And there are a lot of times in real life that we experience this with him. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. where you, you know, we are under attack like, in a sense and then you mm-hmm. just, you are, protect you, yeah, you come near, protect and then we bash the person. <laughs> 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 and also, uh, type 8s have a bullshit radar, very strong bullshit radar. Mm. And they don't like bullshit. Mm. So you bullshit around a type 8, you're probably gonna get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Every time you leave this room, your radar just keep on going on. <laughs> <off. laughs> <laughs> <Off the time. laughs> Enough with the bullshit. So for me, uh, one person that's type 7, right, is Miley Cyrus. Uh. So you guys know Miley Cyrus, right? You know, she goes through a page, right? You know. I came in like a Typically, right, uh, type 7, right, how you can identify them, right, is that they are very fun, they are live for the party, and they don't take things too seriously. They are very mm. optimistic. La. So like, let's say you guys having an argument or why, you say, hey, come on, la, it's not that bad, you know, things can always get better. Mm. Yeah, so this kind of optimistic um, worldview, right, is how you can identify one of them. Mm. Yeah. So Dorit, how about you? Okay, so for type 3, right, uh, an example would be Oprah Winfrey. So for her, right, you know, she has been knocked down in life multiple times. Mm-hmm. But then she did not quit. She just, you know, keep going, Um, you know, just try again and again mm-hmm. to get the goals that she wants. Yeah, and look where she is now. Yeah. 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 She has the eyes, no. Like, uh, I have a strong woman. <laughs> is it? <laughs> you see, you got a, a strong Wait, no. <laughs> no, <a> woman. <laughs> but she's a very strong woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she is. You know, like, despite her talk show, right, it's the highest rated talk show. She mm-hmm. feels that she has more to achieve. Mm-hmm. So this really relates to a type 3 because right for us... Competitive. Uh, competitive mm-hmm. is one. And another thing is that once we done with this project or next. we achieve this goal or aim, what's next? And then when we feel the achievement, right, it's just like a, for a very short period. Okay, I got it. I'm pretty happy. Okay, next. Mm-hmm. Achievements, are, uh, I would say like goals after goals after goals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's why I feel that we would pack our schedules like pretty packed lah. Mm-hmm. Like you just want to be um doing a lot of things. Alright, so you all know your anagram types already, right? Yes. I'm going to paint your a scenario and then I want you to play this scenario out as your anagram type. Okay. Okay? Mm. okay. So the scenario is this. We have a very important presentation to give, but we have been working one whole week, like, you know, really work a lot already. So Shamin say, hey, why not we carry on with the work and then we do the presentation because we need to present it, right? But Joseph was saying that, hey, no lah, you know, we just have, we'll have a drink. We'll do it tomorrow. So... Sounds very real. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this is really, really sound real already. Really. Yeah, okay, so, so we play this out. Yeah, based on your uh, anagram type. Hey, why you don't want to do work? <laughs> <laughs> hey, chill, bro. Hey, chill, bro. Get a drink first, ah. <laughs> This kind of thing work, ah. We have been we have been working for one week already. We deserve a break, you know, or not? Okay, but okay, but seriously, right? We've been working for one week. We are barely halfway there. Presentation is tomorrow, so even if we really burn the midnight oil, we may not even complete the rest of it. I think we should start now, because if let's say we go and have a drink, right? We're we'll not complete that. Huh? We just get the work done first, lah. Then we think about going for a drink later. But I need a break, eh? <laughs> I need a break. You say not 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 halfway done, right? But we are halfway complete. <laughs> no, but seriously, we, we we need to do this, lah. <laughs> we are halfway complete. We can we can, you know, can take a rest for a while, then maybe you can get to it later. Okay, so not, five minutes time we start. Not five minutes, lah. How how long it take to chug a beer? <laughs> okay, no, there's there's no time for beer. We need to get this done. Why is everybody targeting me? <laughs> Yeah, time seven right will avoid the situation. <laughs> okay. Hey, mommy ah. Uh, I didn't get a call ah. <laughs> okay, so whatever we had, right? Okay, now take the same scenario 
but now I want you all to act out with other types in mind. So that, okay. that means that you know that he's a type 7, you know that he's a type 9, yeah. So based on that, right, you act out again the whole scenario. So to approach the situation, right, I must stay and engage. <laughs> <laughs> okay! We do it! Fast, fast, sweet, sweet, chop, chop, later we go drink! Steady! 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 steady. The let's go! We finish, the moment we finish, we go drink lah. Yeah, steady! Okay, yeah, steady. anything, let's go! So fast! <laughs> Okay, so I'll start. Uh. One thing about type 7s is they love enjoyment. They love to party and stuff, right? But sometimes they forget that there are actual things that need to be done. Uh. So I'm going to approach you this way. Okay, Joseph, I know we've been working quite hard this past week. I think, like, like what you mentioned, like you want to go for a drink, right? The problem is there's still a lot more to be done. Mm, and to be honest, if we go for a drink, there's no way we're going to complete. Uh. But how about we do this? There's a 7-Eleven nearby. I recently saw that they have this new stock of cocktail in a can. Mm, I, yeah, I'm I not sure if you have, haven't tried before. Uh, mm. Why not we take a walk? We go over there, we grab maybe a six-pack. We come back to the office, pop the cans, then we get on to work. How's that? Sounds good, sounds good. Mm. So for a time several, right, normally we try to avoid conflict, right? But this time I must stay and engage with <laughs> me, right? There's no conflict, <laughs> Something only got cop meal for you. You see what I want to bring. Okay, okay, we get things done. Ah, uh. chop chop, we drink. Ah, uh. okay. Hey, yeah. steady. I'm uh, on board. Anything, okay. let's go. Hey. <laughs> so you see how impactful or how useful anagram is, right? By knowing each other's type and then you know how to the best approach to deal with them. Mm. So and although mm. we are making it a bit light hearted and mm. funny, right? The truth is it's when exactly <laughs> how 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 you always plays out. Yeah, the truth is when you know about each other's type, that's really the approach you can take, the change in approach. Because mm. I was a bit harder on him at the start, and once I, you know, the second role play, I accommodated his views lah. Alright guys, you guys did so well for the role play, I have something to reward you. Wow. ta -da! Whoa! Oh, my favourite game! My favourite game! We had, game. Game. We had so much fun playing this game previously, mm. right? Now I'm going to put a... Anagram twist to it. Nice. We're gonna play this now? Uh, okay, so because right, this video has been running for too long. So if you guys want to watch us play, check out our part 2 of this video. Alright! Bye! Bye.